Another file I gave you is a sample output, and I have my sample output.txt right here inside the same folder that I have my Java files. Make sure this is not .java, it's gotta be .txt or else NetBeans is gonna try to run it, and obviously it's not at all gonna look like a Java file right here. Okay, we're gonna look at the first line right here. Uh, when I go ahead and run this is that commented out where it really only makes a piece and then prints it. Go ahead, run it one more time. And we see that it's printing out that 1010. And I'm gonna compare that to the sample output right here. And it should print out zero, zero, speed equals one. So all I'm gonna do is copy that. Remember that's going over into piece. So it's gonna return, boom, like that run it again, and there we go. All right, we got the first line correct. Our output is the same as the first line of the sample output. All right, let's go ahead and get back into our lab for objects. I'm trying to reorder this. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna take this comment, I'm gonna move it down a little bit, Alt-Shift-Down, and I'm gonna move it past the first error right here. All right, so what are we trying to do here? Well, we're gonna print some stuff on the screen, print some more stuff on the screen, and we're gonna to try to set X to 50, and then print out P again, and hopefully see that it's 50. In the sample output, you see that happening. This is the print statement right there, where it says P colon 50 zero, speed equals one. All right, so we want that to happen. So first thing we're gonna to need to do is set the X coordinate. So again, this is a method called set X and you can see the parameter is an integer right here. So how we're gonna build that, open up piece. I'm gonna put it above the two string. Uh, it's gonna be public void set X. It's gonna set an integer and it's gonna be some new X value. All right, and we're gonna need, uh, we need to store this value. So we're gonna have an integer X here. Now, notice nothing in here is static. What that means is all of these, they don't belong to the class piece, they belong to the object piece, which means over here, P is not the name of the class. The class name is piece. P is the single piece that we're creating. We could create two or three or four pieces. In the last lab, you created two points, but there was only ever one point class. So again, the type or the class is piece. The individual that we're creating is called an object and that's P. And right here, this is the object p dot set x so this is not static because it's attached to the object not the class so over here that's why you do not see the word public static and why you don't see the word public static right here all right all we're going to do i want to set this x equal to the value that's sent in we know it's going to be 50 the first time around so there we go that's all we're gonna do, x equals new x. Go ahead, hit run. All right, hey, at least it ran. Uh, we set x to 50, but when we printed it out, it still says zero, zero. Why does it say zero, zero? Well, the answer to that is right here on the screen. It called two string, but look, two string does doesn't print out the x coordinate. It prints out zero where there should be x. So I can't just do that. You hopefully can guess what this is gonna do. There we go. So we don't wanna put the letter X there. So we go plus X plus quote. There we go. So it'll go parenthesis, then the X value. Obviously you're gonna to need to do something similar for Y. Y is not always gonna be zero, but you can fix the Y coordinate yourself later. Okay. We can set X to 50. Let's go back in. We're gonna uncover some more. 
So we're going to try to set x to 0, print again. So there we go, set to 50, I see 50, set x to 0, I see 0, everything is good so far. So let's go ahead and do the rest of these set x's. We should be okay on all these. And it should tell you set x to 300, you see 300, set x to 100, you see 100. All right. Now, there is a maximum x and a minimum x value. I'm going to forget about these y's for now. We're going to look at the invalid set x and set y next. 